a major power outage along the west coast of the island last night can be blamed on downed power lines in the community of Mero. Communities from Salisbury all the way to Falkoli were without power for several hours after a concrete mixer collided with an electrical pole near castaways. Some areas remained without power from 9 p.m. until just about 3 a.m. This morning, commuters were asked to take the castaways bypass as the pole and truck remained on the roadway. The circumstances leading up to the accident are unknown at this time. Firefighters and personnel from Domlek responded to a fire near the All Saints University earlier this morning. Power lines were on fire at the intersection of Great George Street and Hillsborough Street, much to the horror of passers-by. And Edison Seja, customer service representative and acting public relations officer of Domlek, told CBN4 that a full assessment of the incidents, including the one in Miro, had to be conducted before any information could be released. Senja told CBN4 that the response team at Domlek was swift when word came in about the accident in Miro. Well, about 9.02 last evening, um, we received a call from a customer who said that the line was down. And um, upon investigation, we found out that it was not just the West Coast. We're talking about a great impact, and the impact that actually affected a tremendous amount of customers. Um, customers were affected from Castle Comfort all the way to Scott's Head, Castle Comfort to Dailies, Luda all the way to Concord, and also Kinfield all the way to Bells. So we had another area in which customers from Kinfield were affected all the way to Collio. So it was really a great impact. Dominic was right on board. Our team got there immediately and we found out that it was not possible for us to address the issue because what actually transpired is that a concrete truck ran into a pole and broke a high tension line. That pole came down. The, it had actually three transformers on it. Um, severe blockage of traffic. They had to divert the traffic from one area to the next. Praise God, there was a substitute road. And a um, tremendous amount of lines were down. I got to the scene this morning, and our guys were right on there, cutting the line, the pool with chainsaw, and to get clearance in the road. He informed that a few pockets of areas were restored within one hour of the power outage after the accident. With regards to the fire which broke out on a dumb like pool outside All Saints University School of Medicine this morning, Senja disclosed that they have already restored power to a number of areas. Um, River Street and, and River Bank, Scotia Bank, All Saints University, um, APP, these areas are still up, but All Saints was restored at 22 minutes to the hour of two. So we are making progress, and I've spoken also with Ozzy, who is also the contractor on the ground, and he has indicated to me that he is 50% complete. The estimated time for the restoration of electricity in the affected areas was actually 5 p.m. And Senja commended the Domlek team for their efforts to restore power. Our men are, have responded positively. They are very credible and, and they are effective in terms of, I looked at the teamwork. I really want to applaud them and the manner, the manner in which they responded to the crisis. Um, Domlek for sure have everything, we have everything under control. The cause of the fire near All Saints University is unknown.